Louis Balzny, correct? Of Thomas Almost. Brady and Associates. Okay. Balzny. Balzny. I'm okay. sorry. We'll let it slide. Okay. Uh, Louis, uh, why don't you tell us about Thomas Brady and Associates and about yourself to start? Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. Um, so Thomas Brady and Associates is a boutique shop located in the back bay on Boylston Street that focuses primarily on estate planning and advanced insurance planning. Um, that's it. No asset management, uh, no legal work, no tax work, just really, really taking our time to educate people about, you know, true insurance planning and estate planning. Um, yeah, we're a small shop. We've got about seven of us in Boston. Um, I don't know if you made the connection or not, but the name Tom Brady does belong to the Tom Brady you're probably thinking about, but it actually is his father. Um, he's been in the business for 45 years. I'm sure there's a lot of brand equity that name. That's, you made sure to tell us. He's a marketing genius. Right. Yeah. Um, naming his son after himself. But yeah, we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good line. So if you will, he's the original. Right. The original TV. Right. Right. And, and then and that's right, the daughter married uh, Euclid. Right? Euclid, yeah. Right, okay. Who's at the Yankees now? He's with the Yankees, yeah. but we'll okay. hold that again. That's okay. I want him to have a good career. <laughs> He's actually, actually related to my partner distantly, but he just—they don't—they don't know each other. Really? Yeah, I think they're like third cousins or something. It's worth the conversation. I guess not on Euclid's part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. keep going. Tell us about the firm. So, uh, so we're we're seven strong in Boston. Uh, Tom Senior's on the West Coast and splits his time here with uh, Matt McKenzie, who's our president. Uh, so they split their work pretty evenly between San Mateo, the West Coast, and the East Coast offices. Um, it's myself and another regional director, No French, um, who really sort of um, focus more on the New England market. Um, and, you know, we're reaching out, we're doing a lot of work with other professionals, CPAs, trust and estate planning attorneys, corporate attorneys, um, and just people sort of doing the estate planning portion, but sort of in their unique niche. Um, and we're coming in and, and, and working with them as a back office and a resource. Um, we're not driven by a company or two companies that, you know, masquerading around as independent. We're truly independent. Uh, we have access to every insurance company out there, um, minus Northwestern Mutual, and uh, you know we, it's it's our job to educate and sort of make sure people know what they bought or why they're buying it. Because um, Northwestern only sells Northwestern. Products. Correct. Correct. Right. Um, I actually spent a couple months with them, so it was cool to learn sort of the insides over there. So, what was your background before doing this? Not insurance. Um, well, that's that's pretty typical. Yeah. So I um, go to insurance school. That's true. <laughs> I don't um, know anybody who got a degree in insurance. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know either. But um, I actually I spent a lot of time in phys ed. My dad's a personal trainer. Um, I did that for a little bit over at the Jewish Community Center. And uh, just, you know, being around a lot of attorneys, I got sort of, uh, you know, they talked to me about law school. They said I'd be great. I'd be a stud there. And uh, I said, yeah, that sounds good. Law school's great, right? I can make a nice living. And uh, didn't really like law school. Right. Um, so I went to Suffolk. Um, so you're a man of good choices. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, went went to Suffolk. I had a good time there. You know, looked more in the corporate side. Wanted to get maybe into corporate planning, looking to set up maybe a franchise of gyms with uh, with pops. But uh, didn't really like the corporate stuff. Took tax as a sort of necessary evil, and uh, fell in love with it. I uh, spoke with my professor. Asked her, you know, what you know, what else can I do tax planning with? She recommended estate planning, and that sort of led to this. Uh, but loved the state planning courses, learned a little bit about insurance there. Um, realized that, you know, once I got into the market, you know, insurance, it's sold, it's not bought. So a lot of people don't really understand what goes on in it. They have a friend or, or, or an alum or someone who reaches out to them and just says, hey, you should buy insurance. And they say, you know, it's been on my mind, I don't really understand it. All right, let's do something. And that's sort of it.